is happening guys my thing is back again you know where we are so let's get into it so guys as i did say before i would not let you guys down this is the box that's just arrived from zara so we're going to get into it in respect of this particular fragrance i'm just going to open this up now as you all know so look as you all know guys there's been a lot of hype on this one on the fragrance reviews and the channels um, I've not smelled this one because when I was in the stores, I wasn't able to smell it um, And when I actually was in the stores, it wasn't officially released in the UK It seemed anyway, even though they may have had it in the back But that is how it goes And here we have it guys, here we have it This is the 1999 Vibrant Leather Metal This is, you can see on here Very first impressions guys Can't really say much about it The bottle seems to come in this sort of slidey type of bottle now um, Box And Hmm the note breakdown is that of, not even note breakdown, what it says on the back, it says, Vibrant Metal is a, I can't even read what it says, ductile fragrance, where its warmest spices are blended into precious woods to achieve a universal scented addiction. Um, and then we got some details from the perfumer there. So I need to do some background research into who the perfumer is. Dauphine, I need to check out who that person is, but yeah, source of endless inspiration, guys. Is this gonna be it? Is this the inspiration that we've all been looking for in respect to this fragrance? Again, guys, very first impressions. Here's the box. Um, obviously, you know the Zara boxes. Here's the bottle 100 mil. So, the bottle seems to be again, yep. Yeah, so, we got the, the magnet in there in the, in the cap. Again, we've got this sort of like, it's like, a, like a tan, like a slightly sort of green. Um, uh, bottle, nothing particularly special there. Here we go, guys. First impressions. Never smelled this before, so I don't know what it smells like. So let's go with it. Apparently, it's very sweet. So let's see. Okay. I'm assuming this is unisex. That's what I'm going to say straight away. I'm assuming this is unisex. It smells floral. It smells like it's got this type of mandarin or some sort of orange in there. Probably mandarin spices coming from maybe some cinnamon or maybe some sandalwood or something along those lines. I'm getting also maybe a... Maybe not quite geranium. It's not going that far. It's not like a... It's like a sweet... Maybe even Magnolia sort of note going on there. Couldn't tell you about bass notes, guys. I don't know how long this is going to last. Apparently, people say this is a very loud fragrance. The opening is nice. The opening is 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 intriguing, is what I'd say. It smells like it could be a little bit too feminine, though. And that's one thing I'm going to say straight away. It smells like it could be a little bit feminine. Again, this is my first impression, so there's no real way I could say what it's going to smell like. I need to have at least have it on for a little bit of time. Now it's actually going to slightly like a creaminess as well, guys. So it's developing a little bit. I can't even say how long it's going to last. I can't talk about projection. I'm literally just open this now. It doesn't smell bad, guys. If you imagine... I think there's tonka bean. There's definitely some tonka bean in there or something that's giving this type of sweetness. Like a creaminess. I'm getting a creamy tonka bean sandalwood type of fragrance, maybe. Spices in the opening. I can't necessarily even say... If you imagine Prada, Luna Rosa, Carbon, a little bit of that in there with maybe even like a little bit of a Coca-Cola vibe and get like a sweetness in, not not necessarily too offensively sweet, but borderline gourmand. I think, I think to be honest, guys, this could be, as I say, it's a unisex fragrance, I would say. Something that ladies could wear. Um, definitely, guys, you can wear this one. Um, opening, again, smells slightly more. Definitely sweet burst of this type of floral, sort of um, mandarin sort of smell I'm picking up on. It's nice, guys. It's pleasant. It's warm. It's not a bad fragrance. It's difficult to say. I think this is good. I don't want to say it's the best because I don't know. Wow, first impressions. Leave it with me, guys. 12 hours later, we will see. But yeah, this is not actually a bad thing at all, guys. It is a sweet one, so be prepared for that. Um, it's good. It's good. Let's see what happens. If we're going to have longevity, it's gonna. I've not smeared a lot because I don't want to just overpower myself. But if we're going to have longevity, we're going to have it as a projection beast. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's going to be, from what I'm picking up straight away now, it's not going to be as thick and as dense as the... Um, warm black that's a different type of fragrance that's a different ballpark 
It doesn't smell like it's got some heavy type of um, tonka bean tobacco sauce um, smell going on. But this actually smells good, guys. And um, to be honest, it might not even be worth calling this vibrant leather. I think they should just call this something else because it's actually a good fragrance. What I can smell. Definitely getting some tonka bean there. Definitely there's like a sweetness in there. Maybe like even like a brown sugar type of smell coming on as well. Not bad, guys. I'll let you know 12 hours later um, or even, even later than that. Maybe six hours later. We'll see, guys. I'll let you know in the next video. But yeah, there we have it. First impressions. It smells very nice. Um, I don't know where to go with it. But again, guys, I'd probably even recommend this one. Hopefully, we get the longevity. Let's see how it develops anyway over the course of the day. Ciao. Also, yeah, guys, before I even say ciao, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You know, you know we need to build this up, build up the community. Ciao.